lost our borders. We'll get our country back. There are four countries. They haven't been anywhere. They're members of a market. They're part of a big marketplace. So to put you in the picture, it's like if you were a farmer in Kintyre, you could take your sheep to Loch Gilpid. Yeah? But if somebody then said, no, 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 no. Take them to this market, because that's where Campbelltown and Oban and Loch Gilpid and Danoon and Inverary and, uh, you know, everybody, Crean Larry, Stirling, everybody meets and you'll get a better price because everybody will be there. Think about it, you know, and, and, and that's it. And we've had 50 years of peace and prosperity, apart from any troubles being domestic politics. But we've decided just to come out of that because a handful of Hooray Henrys didn't like some new laws that were coming in because it might have affected their pennies. So everybody's been whopped from the back, you know, and... Um, it should honestly be cancelled, Scotty. They need to do everything they can to stop it. The fisheries policy aside, I do have some sympathy for the fishermen. It's an excellent market for the UK. Oh, the fish markets in this country were great, but am I not right in thinking that the British waters got fished out? People got too greedy. And most of our fish has been coming from EU what as well, Britain is the EU. You know, it's our EU. We are the EU. You know, we forget that. Uh, Nicholas Sturgeon can still be seen every day through the Scottish government website. Yep, that's great. But she should be on the national broadcaster. Because if you're a public service broadcaster, I can't think of more of a public service than keeping the public updated on coronavirus, especially when there are briefings with the First Minister of Scotland, our top leader, our top politician. You know, very, very interesting. I don't know if you saw, I posted a video, and the video is about the monarchy. You'll see it there. Scotty informs you. And it's about the monarchy. And what the video is actually saying is that, remember, if we uh, in Scotland are going for independence, we need to take the monarchy with us. And I got pelters from all sorts of dreadful guys. They don't realize the monarchy brings in, I think, what was it? Uh, 1.8 billion you know, and very often 600 million, at least that sort of idea. It's virtually self-financing. And of course, there's nothing to do with splitting the parliaments. Very important to have that on board. So become a pro-monarchist if you're not already and uh, you're interested in independence. So there we are. Uh, as a minimum, Nicola's briefings ought to be on BBC Parliament. I hope the BBC are not going to broadcast any more uh, of Number 10's briefings. Well, sauce for the goose, sauce for the gander, Gordon Robertson. When we entered into the contract of union, the act of union, it was 50-50. And anything new that happened was 50-50. So the BBC should actually be 50-50 with Scotland. Yeah. And I would like to check that and all the various stuff that goes along with it. But it should be 50-50. So sauce for the goose, sauce for the gander. If you're not going to show Scotland's briefings, which are outstanding, and I think maybe they're causing embarrassment in Westminster because, you know, our First Minister is extremely well organised. And these briefings are very, very well presented. And I think that if you're going to have that, then sauce for the goose, sauce for the gander. You know, otherwise, it looks like bad.